the cra it's a narrative also in the sense that it affirms real events. This is quite unique to our Judeo-Christian tradition. Our faith is based on real events in this world. God has intervened in our world. That's absolutely basic. God is revealed to us not by decrees, communiques that come from heaven, but by what God has done. God chose a people. He entered into covenant with that people. He raised up leaders who, through the gift of the Spirit, were aware of this drama that was taking place. An incipient awareness, Moses particularly, led the people to this sense of covenant, of God's commitment. Gradually the story unfolds. How is God revealed? God is revealed in the way in which he lives with this people. You come to know someone when you live with them, don't you? If you just say to someone, tell me who you are, well, you get some idea. But if you live with them, you begin to know what's in their hearts. You begin to know the commitments I spoke of. You begin to know the, the people they are from the way in which they live. That's really the pattern of God in dealing with us. He used the wisdom of God. He comes so close to us. He uses the very processes and patterns of our experience so we come to know God, the people of God came to know God's ways, come to know what was in the heart of God by living with God. It was a painful relationship often, a relationship of failure, a relationship of hope, of restoration, reconciliation. And as this story unfolds, the prophets interpret the story. Prophets aren't just people who tell the future in some miraculous way. Prophets are people who speak out in the name of God. The prophets warn the people, call the people, challenge the people, encourage the people, promise in the name of God the things of God. They interpreted the ongoing story. And as they did, interpreting the relationship, it made more and more clear who God was.